This is WVUE, Channel 8. Tonight, it's the award-winning news team of Robin Cohen, Lionel Bienvenu with sports, and Ken O'Quinn with weather. Live from WVUE, this is News 8. The challenge is fighting New Orleans crime, and tonight, there's a list of 12 finalists vying to take on the job as the city's top cop. Good evening, everyone. Mayor Mark Morial releases an official short list of candidates to be the next chief of New Orleans police, and that's News 8's top story at 10. The 11-man, one-woman roster has been 65 days in the making. Here's more on the list of finalists from News 8's John Harrington. The civic and the education. Mayor Morial says at this point he knows little about the finalists his search committee is recommending, having reviewed their resumes for the first time only this morning. Uh, and these 12 are the 12 that the committee considers the best, the brightest, the most competent, and the most qualified. Five of the finalists are locals. The current superintendent, Joseph Ortique, Captain Ronald Doucette, Captain Carol Hewlett, former cop, now attorney, Arthur Hunter, Deputy Superintendent Dwayne Johnson, and Lieutenant Daniel Lawless. From out of town, seven finalists. Michael Brassfield, Seattle's assistant chief, New York assistant chief, Joseph Leak, Robert Olson, the Yonkers, New York Police Commissioner, Robert Russell, a chief from suburban Baltimore, also on the list, New Orleans native Gustav Thomas, regulator for the New Jersey Casino Control Commission, and Jimmy Wilson, former Jackson, Mississippi, police chief. The mayor says six of the candidates are white, six black. I don't necessarily feel any pressure to pick anyone of any given race, but I do believe very, very strongly that someone who leads this department has to understand the gumbo that this city is. And He's been hands off to, to this point, but the mayor says he will personally interview each of the finalists. I cannot tell you today how long the next step in the process will take, but from this point on, I will be extensively involved. The mayor does admit that his May 1st deadline for selecting a new superintendent was overly ambitious. But Mr. Morial does take pride in the fact that the nationwide search just completed only took two months compared to six months the last time it was tried in New Orleans. At police headquarters, John Harrington, News 8. The mayor says the next step will include interviews plus extensive background checks. A mother's boyfriend is accused of murder tonight in the case of those two runaways found dead under a highway overpass. Jefferson Parish authorities have booked 42-year-old George Labrie on two counts of first-degree murder. He'd been dating his alleged victim's mother. Officials say Labrie killed 15-year-old Keon Johnson and her 11-year-old sister Melissa. Investigators think tests this week will show the two skeletons found under an Earhart Expressway overpass late last month are the two missing girls. A pair of shorts and sneakers found at the site have been identified by the girl's mother. Sheriff Harry Lee says last night's arrest came after some reluctant witnesses told investigators they saw Labrie and the two girls leave the Fisher housing project the night they were reported missing. And we've had two separate witnesses that have said that within the last year, Labrie had told them that he had killed the two girls and buried them under an overpass. Uh, no one was able to confirm it, and, and uh, the people he told were actually afraid of him. According to the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office, Labrie has an extensive criminal record. That includes a conviction for attempted aggravated rape. Well, lawmakers are making their way to Baton Rouge for the opening of Governor Edwards' special legislative session tomorrow. The governor called the session to deal primarily with the public sphere of crime. When it comes to trying to get a handle on it, pay now or pay later has been the Edwards administration's word for a long time. And it's expected the governor will propose new taxes in order to help curb crime. Also on the agenda this special session, abortion and whether to include allowing public money for them in certain cases. State lawmakers will also tackle a new teacher evaluation program and the governor will push to revise the video poker law in order to limit the influx of machines. The session's expected to last about three weeks. In well, the meantime, there appears to be no shortage of candidates willing to take Governor Edwards' job. This weekend, during the state Republican convention in Alexandria, some candidates announced they'll seek the nomination, others testing the water. State Representative Quinton Dastug of Metairie says he's definitely in the running. Former Governor Dave Treen says he's likely to run. And party insiders say, by all indications, it appears former Governor Buddy Romer is poised to run as well. While none of them have officially announced, the trio will likely be competing for the state Republican nomination at the party's convention next January. 
Oh, one of Governor Edwards' campaign promises, bringing the state's entire prison system into compliance. And tonight, Governor Edwards says the state's juvenile detention facilities are finally up to snuff. The juvenile facilities accredited are, are located in Bridge City, Baton Rouge, and Monroe. The green light from the American Correctional Association comes after years of inadequate conditions at Louisiana's three juvenile detention centers, ranging from poor health care to improperly sized cells. The governor says the accreditation means all of Louisiana's prisons now meet the proper regulations. That pyramid scheme News 8 first told you about last month is now a lot bigger than authorities first imagined. It was made public today that officials in at least 13 states, including Louisiana, are now taking action against the massive pyramid scheme called the Friends Network. As News 8 first reported in May, the Friends Network works as follows. For $500, you can become a vice president. Your check goes to the chairman at the top of this pyramid with a signed, dated note affirming the money is your tax-free, unconditional gift. As more people sign up, the theory goes you make money. Still to come, they stormed the shores of Lake Pontchartrain this afternoon, making an event that, marking an event rather, that changed history. Also ahead, we'll see the final blow for a once popular Atlanta department store. But first, Ken Oakland says there's a good chance tomorrow's weather will be a repeat performance of today. His forecast is next. This is Chevrolet's all-new S-Series compact pickup truck. It's only available at your South Louisiana Super Chevy dealers. But more importantly, this truck is made in Louisiana. Not up in Detroit or over in Japan, but right here in Louisiana. And when compared to Ford and Toyota, Chevy's S-Series is a clear winner, offering a longer truck with more standard horsepower and an exclusive anti-chip paint process. And right now, save $300. Ask for the all-new Louisiana-built Chevy S-Series pickup, only from your Super Chevy dealers. The Kirschman family welcomes your family to our 80th anniversary sale. Get once a year savings in all of our departments. Save 20 to 50% on living rooms. Sofas start at just $3.99. And this leather chair and ottoman are just $1.99. Save 25 to 50% on Thomasville and Kincaid bedrooms and dining rooms. This chrome craft dinette is just $5.99. Save 50%. Plus buy with no interest till 1995 and no payment till September. During the 80th anniversary sale at Kirschman's, where quality is priced right. Something big is up at KFC. The new 99 cent value menu at KFC, where all day, every day, you'll find two whole wings and a biscuit, a thigh and a biscuit, a barbecue chicken sandwich, or a drumstick and mashed potatoes with gravy. Four delicious value items in all for just 99 cents each, all day, every day. The new 99 cent value menu at KFC. It's getting rave reviews. Gallery Enterprises, what makes their protective carports, screen-in glass enclosures, and custom patio covers the best? Strength. Delory is the sole distributor and manufacturer of Delport aluminum products with the extra strong Deep W design. Easier to maintain. Delory's exclusive 4-inch clean-out gutter system. Inviting. Enhance your home's beauty and value plus give year-round protection. Call Delory Enterprises for high quality and a job done right. We, we love, love it. it. I guarantee it. Delory. Ever hear the roar of a sea lion or see a fish with a parrot's beak? Do you go ape over elephants? See all of the animals while they're half off during Audubon Appreciation Days. It's our way of saying thanks to our neighboring parishes for making our zoo one of the top five in the country and our aquarium host to over five million visitors. During these dates, the Audubon Zoo and Aquarium of the Americas are thanking St. Bernard residents with a special half-off admission price. Keep watching because your parish could be next. Entergy and WVUE invite you to Audubon Appreciation Days at the Zoo and Aquarium where half-off is a whole lot of fun. Only one ticket matched last night's $3 million lotto numbers, and it was bought in Ethel, Louisiana, which is about 80 miles north of New Orleans. Since there is a winner next week's jackpot starts out fresh at a cool $1 million. Well, one Atlanta store could have used that lottery winner as a customer. Richard's, Rich's department store in Atlanta shut down for good today because of sluggish sales. Hundreds lined a busy roadway to see the demise of Rich's. After 70 years in downtown Atlanta, the store came down today with a boom. The old building was destroyed in a matter of seconds with some supercharged dynamite. 
Well, a boy from Mobile, Alabama is no doubt celebrating this weekend. He's Michael Kearney, a 10 year old who's just graduated with honors from no, not fifth grade, but from the University of South Alabama. That accomplishment enters him in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the youngest ever to graduate from college. Michael's parents plan on giving him a car and they figure by the time he's old enough to drive it, he'll have a master's degree as well. And I guess they will have paid it off too by then. That's pretty nice. All right, Ken, this is like bad hair day kind of weather. Uh, if, if I could only rewrite yesterday's forecast for today, pitiful, pitiful, bad hair day. I think that would just mm -hmm. about sum it up. That today was up. just soggy, just wet in every areas, all areas, but, uh, and I don't see much relief for tomorrow. This is more than the typical summertime showers. This is more showers, than our share, though. yeah. We're going to have more of that tomorrow. Things will settle down later in the week, but we're going to have to put up with some hotter temperatures. That's going to be coming our way for later on. Take a look, first of all, at radar. Yes, we're getting rid of the rainfall tonight. All the showers from earlier just about gone. The only leftover rains are over in St. Bernard, extending down into Plaquemines Parish, slowly drifting out to sea, and we will have a chance to dry out for tonight, and we certainly need it. Let me take you back in time on Slidell's radar. There was a lot of action earlier this evening with some thunderstorms over in St. Bernard and down south of us toward Homa. We were kind of in a break right here on, in the city, but watch what happens. As the showers diminish across the area, a new thunderstorm developed right over the city. A lot of lightning and thunder. We had over an inch of rain in a very short amount of time here at Channel 8. But the showers have diminished and just about come to an end in most areas as it's drifting generally out to sea. Well, here are some of the rainfall totals around town, anywhere from one to two inches of rain in general. But some areas got a lot more than that, like on the West Bank, over in Marrero, three inches of rain fell there. And Robert Wingarder down in Terrytown had over four and a half inches of rain. And you go not too far away, Bell Chase just had about uh, two-thirds of an inch of rain. So it really varied right over the city and also across the board too. Over in Thibodeau, two to four inches of rain fell there. Montague had about two and a third. Crown Point over three and Violet had over four inches of rain. So it came down in buckets in some areas and that's going to be the case again tomorrow. Be prepared if you're going to be out and about. Some areas will get a lot of rain because the showers are all very slow moving and you will get a lot if you get caught under the thunderstorms. Well today started out kind of nice this morning. We had clear skies. Watch how quickly with daytime heating the thunderstorms just blossom across southern Louisiana extending eastward into Florida. Much of central and northern Louisiana enjoyed bright sunshine and it was clear back into Texas and where it was sunny temperatures soared up into the 90s. So if we get rid of the thunderstorms we're going to see temperatures up into the 90s probably some of the hottest weather of the year coming our way this week. What we have is a very weak trough that developed today. It's really difficult to pick out but it extends from southern Louisiana all the way down into the central Gulf. Indications are it may sit here at least another day. By Tuesday, it should drift generally toward the northeast and get away from us so that we will tend to dry out once again and rain chances will diminish to about 30 to 40 percent and maybe by Wednesday and Thursday, it'll be back down to normal 20 to 30 percent or so. These fronts that you see on the map, no, they're not coming our way. We could use a nice front to sweep all this out of here, but that's not the case. We have these little weak disturbances that we're going to be keeping an eye on just about all week. This one should get out of here real soon, but not before tomorrow. A quick look out in the tropics. We have one frontal system that shows up nicely out in the Atlantic. That's no problem, but we had a strong tropical wave that we were watching yesterday move across the uh, Lesser Antilles today, produce winds of over 40 miles per hour. The storms have diminished out there and really nothing else left in the tropics that we have to be concerned about. We'll watch the Gulf because it's staying pretty active out there tonight, but no signs of anything developing there. Well, we're in the 70s now with high humidity, 94%, southeast winds at 9 miles per hour and a low barometer, 29.89. Our high today, 88 at Audubon Park, though Kenner got up to 91 degrees, so it sure was hot before the thunderstorms hit. Can you imagine if we didn't get the rains, we would have been... A Hotter than that, over two inches of rain fell near Audubon Park. So our forecast for tonight is the showers just about have ended. Clearing skies for tonight with lows falling into the lower 70s, not much cooler than we are now. For tomorrow, partly sunny skies in the morning and then again above normal afternoon thunderstorms with high temperatures in the upper 80s might even hit the 90 degree mark. Now on Tuesday, we're going to start emphasizing drier weather with fewer drops and temperatures will be at least 91 if we don't see many showers around. So it's going to be a hot, hot week. 
South and southwest winds offshore increasing over the next couple of days. It's going to be a little bit breezy out there. Seas of three to four feet. The tide range, though, is looking pretty good, but uh, much, much too wet. We've been below normal rainfall, but it looks like we're catching up. At least it's cooling us off a bit, but when it's not raining, you just want to go like that. It's hot. It was miserable. All right, Ken. Well, we'll just have to grin and bear it. <laughs> well, just ahead, they came down from the heavens today in France to mark the Allied victory 50 years ago. That's a bit later. First, the LSU Tigers run into trouble at the College World Series. Sports is next. News 8 weather has been brought to you by Compass Furniture. Lou Ripner's Compass Furniture knows good sleep demands good bedding. That's why we feature Sealy Posturepedic. Take an additional 10% off our everyday low prices on selected Sealy Posturepedic during our Sealy factory authorized sale. For the guaranteed lowest prices every day on selected Sealy Posturepedic, plus an additional 10% savings, come to Lou Ripner's Compass Furniture during our Sealy factory authorized sale. Only at Lou Ripner's Compass Furniture. Welcome home. Hey, have you seen Helen Paint's new decorating center? We got small floors, large florals, borders, window treatments, wide stripes, thin stripes, silks, kitchens, bath, bedroom. Kids room. Funky, you can't name all the wallpaper Helm has. We have thousands and thousands to choose from. I just want to let people know that Helm has the largest selection of wallpaper books in the city. And all in stock is 50% off. Helm Paint. And thank you more to match it all. Funky. Bye. Promise, Michael, 11.30 p.m., no ifs, ands, or buts. We're, uh, we're talking trust here. Mm-hmm. And trust... Trust is golden. Golden. And honey, just because the car comes with dual airbags doesn't mean you fly down the road at a million miles an hour. <laughs> right. So, uh... So, uh, what do you think? Sure. But maybe you guys should think about getting your own. Bye, sweetie. Bye. The Integra, available exclusively at your Greater New Orleans Acura dealer. Hungry? Better head into McDonald's for a delicious McDonald's double cheeseburger. It's just 99 cents every day. For a little more, add large fries and a medium Coke for a great extra value meal. That's the taste you want at a price you love. McDonald's double cheeseburger, just 99 cents. McDonald's takes you back to Bedrock, where you'll find four unique Stone Age glass mugs. These will look great with my bone china. Uh-huh. Buy any extra value meal or any other purchase and get one of these glass mugs for just 99 cents each. If you want durability and the highest energy efficiency possible, invest in Amana. Amana Central Air Conditioning with quality features like all copper tubing coils, brass service valves, quiet operation, and a 10-year warranty is the clear choice for super high efficiency, low cost cooling. Call your Amana dealer today and take advantage of one cool deal. No down payment, no interest or payments till January 95. Start saving today with your new Amana Central Air Conditioner at Burkhardt Heat and Air Chalmette. Well, LSU is on a streak going into the College World Series. Yes, they had won eight games in a row, Robin, but uh, all good things must come to an end, to use a tired, worn-out cliche. Here today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> That's right. Uh, the Tigers, they weren't picked to go anywhere this year, so just getting to the College World Series was a good accomplishment mm -hmm. for this team. After LSU lost in the opening game of the College World Series, second baseman Todd Walker said it was the law of averages. You have to lose sometime. Well, if that was true, tonight's game against Cal State Fullerton was not the law of averages. It was Murphy's law, Murphy's rule. Everything went wrong tonight for LSU, and it would happen early. First inning, the Titans scored 11 runs. Brett Laxton pitching, Brett Hemphill singles, and that brought home two runs. The 11 runs, a new record in the College World Series. Then Jeff Ferguson up with a shot to left center. That one is deep, long, and gone. It was 13 to nothing at one point, and it was all over. Warren Morris with a two-run single here for LSU to try to get them back in it, but the damage was done. 20 to 6 was the final. Cal State Fullerton sending LSU home. 46 and 20 LSU's record this year. Again, a very good record. Tigers weren't picked to do anything at all this year, and they got to the College World Series again. Earlier today, Georgia Tech beat Florida State in the earlier game, 12 to 4. Back to baseball in a minute, but first, the NBA. It had come down to Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals. The New York Knicks and the Indiana Pacers tied three games apiece. Patrick Ewing stated the Knicks will win it all, and Ewing and his Knicks will get that chance. You just had to watch the last few minutes of this one. The Pacers led early, the Knicks caught up, and when Rick Smith's hit and was fouled, it was tied at 76. 
than Patrick Ewan, who played one of his best games ever. He scored, and that put New York up by three. Reggie Miller scored 25 for the Pacers. He'll come up and hit the jump shot, and that cut the Knicks' lead to one. It was 89-88 in the final minutes. And then Haywood Workman with the great pass to Dale Davis underneath, in over Ewing. Pacers led 90-89. 26 seconds left now. John Starks drives and misses, but Ewing will slam it back home. He scored 24 points, got 22 rebounds. The Pacers had one last shot, but Miller doesn't get a good one off. And the Knicks got it and held on to win it 94-90. What a great series. The Knicks now move on to the finals to play the Houston Rockets. To tennis now, and the country of Spain is celebrating a sweep at the French Open. Spaniards Sergi Bruguera and Aracha Sanchez Vicario won the men's and women's title today on the clay in Paris. Sanchez Vicario was playing American Mary Pierce today, Pierce making her first appearance in a major final. She said she was nervous, and it showed. Pierce will make an unforced error here at the net. She upset top seed Steffi Graf in the semis, but she would not get past second seed Arancha Sanchez Vicario. Vicario got to everything, even overhead smashes. It went in straight set, 6-4 and 6-4, the second French Open title for Arancha. In the men's final, friends Sergi Bruguera and Alberto Barassa Tegui. They practiced together. They also bar hopped together, but today they were enemies on the court. Barassa Tegui will win that point but he wouldn't win enough of them. Sergi Bruguera went on to win his second French Open title in a row, 6-3, 7-5, 2-6, and 6-1. The Zephyrs in action tonight on the lakefront against the Iowa Cubs. Sort of, not much action before the rain put a stop to it. Game suspended in the first inning with no score. The Cubs and Zephyrs will pick it up at 5.35 tomorrow, play nine innings, and follow that with a seven-inning game. So lots of baseball on the lakefront tomorrow evening. The Cleveland Indians have been the butt of many baseball jokes. There have even been two movies made about the Indians and how bad they are. But you can stop laughing now. The 94 Indians are pushing the Chicago White Sox for first place in the American League Central. The Indians had won seven in a row, going for number eight against Oakland tonight. Albert Bell, the former LSU outfielder, a shot to left field. Two runs will come in to score. The Indians have done it. They've won eight in a row. The final over Oakland, eight to one. Texas beat Boston in 10 innings, Detroit over Minnesota, the Royals beat the Yankees, White Sox lose to the Orioles, California over Milwaukee, and Toronto beat Seattle. In the National League tonight, the Padres and Marlins, a 5-5 tie, but Benito Santiago with a blast. That ball did not want to stay in. It wanted to go out, and it did. It may be out right now in South Beach checking things out. A three-run homer, Marlins on the way. They win it 10-5. Atlanta beat L.A. today in 10, Cincinnati over the New York Mets. The Giants beat the Cardinals 13 innings before Montreal took care of Chicago. Houston over Philadelphia and a one-run game here. Pittsburgh beat Colorado. Bobby Watkins was hoping to end 20 years of frustration on the PGA Tour today. In those two long decades, Watkins had never won a tournament, but he was in the lead going into today's final round of the Kemper Open, but he would fail again. This about sums up his career. On 15, his long birdie putt, it'll go right on the edge, but it will not go in. Watkins would shoot a three over 74 and drop out of the lead. Mark Brooks would take over on 18, the birdie to wrap up his fourth PGA victory. He finished 13 under par. Watkins and D.A. Wybrain were tied for second. Kelly Gibson ended up three under par. He got a check for $27,000. Tommy Moore, a check for $5,500. Planet Hoops 94 is over. The three-on-three -three basketball tournament wrapped up this afternoon. Over 2,000 players took part in this event, of which Channel 8 was a major sponsor. In the highest division, the Skywalker division, it was the Falcons from Baton Rouge taking on the Maniacs. James Joseph will hit the shot right there. After that, David Barrow will get it outside and he'll hit the game winner. The Falcons are the champs of Planet Hoops. And coming up after the news, it's the latest edition of Sports View. You can see a lot more of Planet Hoops. Channel 8 again, a major sponsor of this major event. All the competition, the slam dunk contest, and the WVUE Corporate Challenge all in store for you. Also, I'll take a look at the 1994 Saints and how the team is shaping up after two mini camps with training camp only six and a half weeks away. Sports View is next. Jim Gallagher is your host. I'll be there too, Robin. All right. As Sounds always. exciting. Yes, very much. Thanks, Lionel. All right. Well, the president spent the day with the royal family. We'll tell you where he's heading next on News 8. Get something extra during the Lanyap sale only at Kirschman's Appliances. Get this Hotpoint 21 cubic foot refrigerator for $6.77 with free ice maker. 
Buy this GE dishwasher for $3.99 with free installation. And this Whirlpool air conditioner is just $5.99, also with free installation. Plus, get free delivery, free interest till $19.95, and worry-free shopping with our low-price guarantee. The Lanyap Sale, this week only at Kirschman's Appliances, where quality is priced right. You're the one I count on, the one I stand behind, the one I still believe in. After all this time, I've been telling folks about Miss Goldie Chicken for 12 years. But to know about Miss Goldie, all it takes is one taste. That's why we say it's simply the best. Miss Goldie, you're simply the best. For over 30 years, Amco Transmission Certified Specialists have repaired millions of transmissions. From cars to light trucks, vans, RVs, and imports. We even supply free towing when you need it most. Amco technicians are trained in the latest equipment to check not only the transmission, but also the car's computer system with our multi-check diagnostic system. Amco honors most new and used car extended warranties, and with hundreds of Amco locations nationwide, you're protected. Think you might have a problem? Call one of our nearby locations. We'll check it out. Amco. Double A. MCO. I saw him again last night. Why do we keep coming back to him? He makes me laugh. <laughs> He's not a lightweight, like so many others I've known. He's a fuzzball. <gasps> he says so himself. <laughs> I find him stimulating. Mm. I think it's time we faced him. Together. Look, there he is. <gasps> Rush Limbaugh, shaking up America. What a great set of ideas. Mm. Rush Limbaugh, weeknights at 11.35 on WVUE. For every person out there who's ever been tricked, trapped, cheated, or deceived, now there's somewhere to turn. For anyone who's ever been taken in, forced out, set up, or shut down, they're here to even up the score. Meet the Crusaders, a new team of television journalists who do more than get the story, they get results. The Crusaders, now there's someone on your side. Crusaders, Sunday night at 11.05 on WVUE. Well, D-Day is tomorrow, but here in New Orleans this weekend, there's a full slate of festivities commemorating the most pivotal day in World War II history. News 8's Dion Floyd was at Lake Pontchartrain today for one event, a reenactment of the Allied invasion of Normandy. The 4th Marine Aircraft Wing Band got things started for the D-Day reenactment, but heavy rains delayed the action for nearly 20 minutes. The reenactors, however, were ready to do battle. This is a boot knife. The field glasses are original. They're 6 by 30 uh, German. This is their flashlight, which has a variety of lenses. Soon afterwards, the journey back in time began with gunfire, explosions, and the arrival of vintage landing craft, just as it did that significant day 50 years ago on the beaches of Normandy. The rainy weather has made this rare glimpse of history even more authentic, and those who came to witness it now have an even better perspective of the invasion of Normandy. Umbrellas covered the spectator area, as hardly anyone let the rain ruin the moment. It's a little foggy out there coming in. Look great. Certainly more authentic, right. Um, it's, I like to see it reenacted because it not just, you know, over 9,000 died there, but all those families. I think it's befitting that we honor the fallen men who fell in Normandy invasion to uh, preserve freedom as we know it here today. Watching the reenactment was like reliving it for some D-Day veterans who attended. John Broughton talks about the memories. You kind of put them out of your mind because your life you have to go on, you know. But uh, it was terrible. It was an emotionally charged celebration, and for many who are too young to remember, found the lifelike invasion somewhat fascinating. It was real because they had real smoke and people were shooting guns and just people were all around and they had boats coming in. It's D-Day 50 years later. D-Day remembered in living color. Reporting from Lake Pontchartrain, Dion Floyd, News 8. After the D-Day reenactment on the lakefront, U.S. Marines demonstrated what a modern-day assault on Normandy might look like today. Special effects during that event featured weapons like those used in Operation Desert Storm and during the recent crisis in Somalia. The simulation included air-cushioned landing craft, grenade launchers, and high-caliber machine guns. Afterwards, the equipment was put on display for all to get a close-up look. 
Tonight, President Clinton is spending the night aboard a U.S. aircraft carrier headed for D-Day ceremonies in Normandy, France. Earlier in England, the president took part in commemorative ceremonies along with the royal family, British Prime Minister John Major, and dozens of veterans who survived the historic assault. Tomorrow in Normandy, Mr. Clinton will observe more ceremonies at the site of the actual battle. Meantime, in St. Mara, Glees, France, thousands gathered for special services in the same square where American 82nd Airborne paratroopers landed 50 years ago from the sky. The veteran paratroopers dropped out of vintage C-47s. And in another part of France, they dedicated the Wall of Liberty, a monument bearing the names of 60,000 U.S. veterans who fought in World War II. Back here at home, the Daughters of the British Empire gathered for a special D-Day tribute. The group held a wreath-laying service today at the Winston Churchill statue on Poydras Street. Members say they wanted to honor all the Allied servicemen who lost their lives during World War II. We'll be right back. If you're a professional user of power tools, Beerman really is your number one power tool center. Why pay more? Come straight to the source, Beerman Precision, your power tool center. It's a day when local businesses and schools come together through the Partnerships in Education program. A day when Amico employees arrive at McDonough 35 to visit and advise students. A day when everyone realizes we can all learn a lot from each other. Be a partner with a New Orleans public school. Make the call today. Now you can check out Hunger in Louisiana. Just look for the donation slips at the checkout counter. Check in your dollars with a special UPC code and help Second Harvester's Food Bank check out Hunger. Every dollar you give will feed a family of four. Please look for the special donation slips at these checkout counters. Take time to check it out because we can check out Hunger now. Sometimes being a kid today is hard, and some things are too big for a little person to handle alone. That's why the Children's Bureau is so important. They offer someone good to talk to about bad things, like when someone who loves you gets hurt or killed, and they can help grown-ups too. And for kids who don't have anyone, the Children's Bureau helps find families who will love them. For more information, contact the Children's Bureau. It helps heal the hurt. This year, some local volunteers are celebrating a bittersweet birthday for an organization they wish didn't have to exist at all. But as precious days of life have unfolded into 10 years for No Aids Task Force, there is much to celebrate. Because with education and early intervention, these heroes are helping Louisiana live with HIV. No Aids, a partnership for life. Well, Ken's back with another quick look at our back-to-work forecast. Well, we're just about all dried out tonight. I think we're going to be dry for morning drive, so no problems there. Partly sunny skies, no rain expected, temperatures in the 70s. But hold on, I think tomorrow's going to be kind of a repeat around here where we're going to see thunderstorms in the afternoon, and some could be very heavy. So the morning's another couple our, of our best shot. That'll be it. Get all up right, early. Ken, thanks. <laughs> well, finally this evening, some vacationers are making a special journey this weekend to witness history in the making. They're coming from all over the world to walk up the path leading to an addition to the Mount Rushmore landscape. None other than Indian Chief Crazy Horse. The rock carving still in the works is being added in tribute to Native Americans. And when completed by decade's end, Crazy Horse will join the ranks of four ex-presidents. And that's all for News 8 at 10. Thanks a lot for joining us. Sports View with Jim Gallagher is coming up next. We'll see you next weekend. In the meantime, hope you make it a great week. Good night.